Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Batasera Nation. So today we're going to look at configuring and setting up the best settings for Dolphin Emulator in Batocera. And fortunately for us, a lot of those settings can be set within Batocera. So uh, let's look at the GameCube. So of course, you got to press the back button or the select button on your gamepad, and then you go to advanced system options. Uh, and from there, you can s select the different options like the game ratio, video mode, internal resolution, graphics backend, right? OpenGL, Vulkan, uh, performance hacks, dual call, GPU sync, so forth and so on, right? Widescreen hack. Again, all this can be set uh, within Batocera, which is fantastic. And they've added more setting uh, as it's been updated. Uh, throughout the, the months and the years all right and of course also for each individual game you can also go into game options uh, and then go to advanced game options so from there you can also select for the individual games certain things may work better for certain games than other games you can set it also within Bato set huh? which makes life so much easier all right but when it comes to uh, the controllers you know, certain games you may want to configure it a certain way, and other games you may want to configure it other way. So there's no way to do it uh, from the menu here within Bato Set. But fortunately, there is a way to do that. I'm going to show that in a little bit. Let's go with the Wii emulator. All right. It's the same thing back button or select button. And you can also go into advanced system options and then select the different options that you want for. Uh, the Wii emulator okay it's pretty easy pretty straightforward all right okay okay so but again if you want to have greater options and greater control of the games there's a way to do that so let's go ahead and back out of this press the F1 key on your keyboard and then go into applications go into dolphin emulator all right, <clears throat> so let's go to the controllers and let's start out with the GameCube controllers, right? Configure, okay? Set to my Xbox 360. Uh, this is These are the default buttons that have been set up for you. Uh, but let's say, you know, uh, for example, I have Mario Kart Double Dash. You know, this button here, I want it to be a different button altogether. So you can actually create a different profile. And then... I've already created the profile. You can see the Y hit key was changed to something else altogether, right? So you can configure it again the way a particular game, certain buttons do certain things. Once you configure it, and then you go ahead and save that profile. You can create as many profiles as you want. You can even create profiles for other uh, game pads as well. I have one here for the 8 bit Pro, okay? So this is unlimited. You can do as much as you want, as many as you want. Uh, once you create the profile, go ahead and save it. And then, uh, for example, let's say, you know, um, my GameCube and my Wii, uh, I've got a certain profile for all my racing games, right? So I go ahead, I went ahead, I created Xbox 360 car, and I went ahead and I saved that, okay? I close that out, I close that out, and then I go into my double dash. And then with your mouse, right click on it, and go into properties. And this is all the magic happens on the editor right here. Config file right here. Okay, this here, this option here is not necessary anymore. But again, you can you have you have great control what you want to do. Uh, here's the controls: pad profile, Xbox 360 car. So when it loads it up, it knows it's going to have to load up uh, this profile, game profile, game pad profile for this particular game. Okay, and you could do the same thing for the Wii emulator. Go into the Wii. I can go ahead. This is the default options. I'll go ahead and change it to emulator Wii remote. Configure. All right. I also have one there too. I've got a bunch of them here. I'll go here and load it up. Okay, again, you can configure the way you want it. And then, of course, once you configure it, the game pad and for the particular game uh, go ahead uh, and save it right 
close that out close that out and then I'm going to mark cart the same thing right click on it prompt code and properties I'm going to the editor and of course you also have options here as well right going to the editor uh, and you can see the controls we mode source zero equals one we mode profile one equals xbox car okay um, shortly i'm going to be providing you a direct link we can learn the different settings that you can put here for a particular game okay uh, there's a link uh, on the dolphin forum uh, what all these options are explained to you the syntax is explained to you and what you need to do to get greater control of a particular game uh, all right so I got that set to Xbox car let me go ahead and uh, get out of there in fact now let's go to the Wii let's go back to Mario Kart if I load this up look at the top left hand side of the screen when that game first boots up see it says, it says that Xbox car specific input profile Xbox car so then again it knows that it's gonna load up that profile that I created on my own so when I play this game it will do it just the way I want it to be done all right let's go ahead and get out of this all right uh, so let me go ahead now show you uh, the link where you need to go so that you could uh, configure uh, the individual games in the profile all right okay so here we are at the dolphin forums and this is the actual direct link that you need to use okay I will be providing a direct link in my game in my video description so look for it in my video description okay uh, but again, all the settings for the game Eni are found here. Okay, some of these, of course, are found already in Batocera, right? Uh, but not all of them. In fact, not most of them. So you can choose audio backend, and use choose CPU engine, DSP engine, volume, frame limit options, emulation speed. You can set that. Frame skip, idle skip and sync. PAL stuff. You can also set the CPU overclock as well. Internal resolution, of course, that can be done uh, already in, in Batocera. Here will also we have EFB scale settings that you can choose. The video settings again can be chosen, can already be done in Batocera. EFB copies, hacks, right? Vertex rounding, texture cache you can use. Aspect ratio, looking okay, the thing also can be done in Batocera. Some more video hacks, fast step calculation, progressive game. Again, all the and the correct syntax is also uh, taught in these settings, right? Uh, we moat control profiles. The language for GameCube and for Wii games. Okay, so there are these are all the different settings. Okay, and again, the correct syntax that you need to use uh, to get the best possible options for your favorite games uh, in Dolphin. Okay, again, I will be providing a direct link. Okay, let's go back to the Dolphin emulator. Let's go ahead and press F1. Go back to Applications. Hey, let's go back to the Mario Kart. And properties. I go into it. On. So with that link, we have a better understanding what these different settings are. So we know now know that we mode source zero is the first game pad, right? Uh, zero, one, two, three is the highest, right? So this is for the first gamepad, and this is the first profile, Xbox car, okay? Uh, another example, you know, let's say you want to go into the core, 
there's a core right there and let's say in the core let's go back over here and in the core let's say we want to change the emulation speed right based upon the link you know we have to do this emulation speed correct syntax equals uh, let's say 0 0.9 that was set to emulation speed to 90%, right? Uh, so again, you can play with these different things just to get the best option for your particular game. Now you may think, oh, it's the house, I gotta do this for every single game, but you know, we only have certain, certain games that we play again and again, maybe 10, 20 games, so uh, you can play around those things for the best possible option for your particular game. All right, that about wraps it up. I hope you found this useful. If you found this useful, please, like this video if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing i've got more content coming up uh, thank you for watching happy gaming and i'll see you next time at Batos at a nation bye